Hey y'all, after completing the tool storage workbench in the last video, it's time to take advantage of this open wall space for more storage and organization. There are lots of opinions on the internet about what wall storage is best, or at least what's the trendiest. I'm going to do a mix of both French cleats and pegboards. Why a mix? For a few reasons. One is the layout of my shop space, and another is the tools I plan on storing on each of them, but we'll talk more about that later. To get started, I ripped down some 3 quarter inch pine plywood into 7 inch thick strips, but then I cut those in half at a 45 degree angle to get two wall cleats out of each one of those 7 inch strips. I sanded and coated all of them with a thin coat of a water-based poly for some protection as well as to match the look of the rest of the shop furniture. The hardest part was figuring out how to get the first one attached to the wall. I ended up making a stand out of some painter's tape at one end of the bench to get the height I was looking for, then I used a level to get the final placement. I've already gone through and marked the stud placement on the wall, and so with this board in place, I went ahead and pre-drilled the board on the spot and then drove in screws into the studs. To get the next level in, I added a filler board and then placed the strip I wanted to actually attach to the wall on top of it and repeated the same process of pre-drilling and screwing into the studs. I looked at trying to pre-drill the boards before putting them on the walls, but I was using the stud finder and I found that a few of these studs weren't exactly straight going up the wall. And since this was going to be very visible, I did not want to mess up that whole location, so going direct to the wall it was. I got all four boards on the main four studs here, and then I came back and did both ends of each boards to make sure the entire strip was secured to the wall. Now for this corner, this is where I'm going to put the big pegboard. To dress it up and ease the installation, I put a border around it out of some 1x2 material. I mitered all of the edges and then glued on a front and back piece and then nailed through both. After repeating that all the way around the board, I broke the edges with a block plane and had it ready to mount. Since the front and back has a frame, the back frame is actually what helps keep both the pegboard off the wall so the peg holders can slip easily in and out, but it also allows for easy mounting using a piece of scrap 1x2 material. I hung the scrap piece with one screw in a stud and the other in a wall anchor, and then put the frame on top of that piece. Two small screws through the holes in the pegboard into the mounting piece will keep this whole thing from falling off the wall, and all the weight is secure on the piece screwed into the wall. Now to finish off this wall, I used a laser level to help match the height of the fringe cleats on the first wall before adding the rest. Now that you can kind of see this layout, let's talk about why I did this. It starts with what I plan to use each of these for. French cleats are where I plan on hanging kind of larger groups of tools that will need their own kind of storage system. Things like a sawtill, a cordless power tool station, and a hand plane rack. These tool holders will stick out from the wall quite a bit, which is why this corner is kind of wasted space as I can only really use one wall for a holder that sticks out from the wall. On the other hand, this pegboard will be good storage for those random one or two things that are not big enough to warrant a whole French cleat system specifically for them. Things like hammers, screwdrivers, levels, tape measures, even tape. Now for the first set of French cleat holders, I have a real hodgepodge of clamps that need a home. Looking around at all the different styles of holders, I wanted something that was truly universal as I continue just picking up clamps from random sources, and so I don't know what I will get next. So I went with what Jonathan Katz Moses recently showed on his channel. This design can hold any bar clamp, so I'm starting with three large ones so I'll have the space to grow in as my assortment does. I made an extra strip of cleats as well on the table saw and I'm just cutting off the pieces as I need them now by hand specific to each holder. To find where to put the cleat on it, I wanted the entire structure to rest on the actual cleat on the wall but as high as possible to take up all this wall space up at the top. Some glue and brad nails later and the first three are done. Now I need something for the rest of these C-clamps in my corner clamp. These big C-clamps are heavy, so I'm going to do something like I did with the bar clamps, using a triangle frame to hold them up, but this time nailing two of those triangles together to make it even stronger. 
For the rest of the clamps, I'm going to use dowels to hold them. I want the dowels to be slightly tilted up, so when drilling the holes for them, I used a small spacer block under the board to get that effect. After attaching the French cleat to that one, I went ahead and made two small bar clamp holders as well for my smaller clamps. I specifically wanted my clamps on this wall as they won't stick out far into the space and they won't get in the way of the drawers or cabinets down below and they're easily accessible anytime I need them. They're not the most space efficient, but they are the most versatile to work with any clamp and the ability to move them around for organization is well worth the space. The second holder I need right away is something for my shop cleaning supplies, specifically rags, paper towels, and gloves. I am constantly reaching for these, and without a dedicated space for them, they are ending up all over the shop. To do this, I cut down a backboard and a set of sideboards to build out a cubby system for each of these. To hold the paper towels, I also cut some specific runners for a paper towel rod to sit in securely while I'm using it, but also make it easy to change the roll out. All the pieces get glued and brad nailed in place to make the initial carcass. Now to keep the towels and gloves in place, we're going to need to put a front piece on this. I measured out a slot for the gloves on one side and for the towels on the other, and then I used a can to help create some smooth rounding for the template. Then over at the bandsaw, I cut out the two designs. I also made a quick lig for the rag section to really try and keep as much sawdust as possible out of there. Then I cut an old closet rod to length for the paper towel holder. After attaching the cleat, it was ready for installation. The glove box goes in with a few scrap pieces behind it to keep it out in the front of the section. The rags go in and gravity will feed them to the bottom. And then the paper towel holder goes on. This is a great start to utilizing all this space in here, but we got a lot more to do to get this workshop built out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next project. Thanks!